Now you wouldn't think this one little bill was that important, but you take it off and it destroys this poor whole little engine. Now it's because it's doing a lot of critical functions. Now a lot of times we only think about an engine as being this part. This is really just some pistons and some valve train. But you got this whole set of components here that are doing a lot of functions within the engine and the vehicle itself. Yeah, it's almost like six engines. One is run by the crank and every other one is run by the belt. You got your alternator, you've got your uh, crank which is moving everything, you've got your water pump, you got your power steering pump, and your AC compressor, all with this one serpentine belt that goes around all of them. Yeah, and in the old days it used to be split up. So you might have a different belt on you know, a different component or maybe one or two connected together. But now that one crankshaft and that one belt is driving everything. Now there's different dynamics in each component. Like for example, you might have a constant load you know, as this is spinning, but once that AC kicks on, bang, there's an instant load onto the system. Well, the alternator acts differently. When you accelerate, this crank is trying to wind everything up. Well, there's a lot of mass in here. There's a lot of windings in this alternator. So this is getting a lot of load to spin it up. As soon as you lift the throttle, that mass wants to keep spinning and it wants to shoot the belt forward. So there's a lot of stuff that's going on in there because they're all connected. And that's why as a system, they've got to be designed right and you got to maintain them right. Yeah, it's hard to keep that tension on every single one of these surfaces with this one little tensioner. <laughs> And that tensioner takes a lot of strength. I mean, if you put this wrench on it, show yeah. them how much leverage it takes just to move it. Now here's a really long lever arm here, but I mean, still I can feel how much load is on there. But that tension has to be critical over time. So it may be fresh in the beginning, but as the system wears and as that spring starts to fatigue, that's an important item that you want to replace as you replace your belt. Now, of course you want to do your idlers too, because you know, they get a lot of load on them. A lot of those bearings will start to wear out over time. So to to do it right, you just go ahead and bang, you throw in some pretty inexpensive components yeah. and the whole thing is done right. It'll last you forever again. So. Yeah, and there's several different types. We just grabbed a couple to show you, but I mean, you try to move this thing, there's no way. There's a, this is more of a shock type. It's actually hydraulic fluid, so there's a little valve, so that kind of moves back and forth. You know, another kind of primitive spring type, so there's all different ones. But uh, like he said, go ahead and replace the idler. Go or hit the idler, go ahead and replace the tensioner at the same time while you do a belt. Yeah, and there's other things you want to look for too. Now we showed you about belt construction. You know, newer belts are made with EPDM. Now EPDM is a much more robust material than the old neoprene stuff. And you don't see the cracking and chunking like pieces coming apart. So you look at it and you think, well, that's still good. But it's all about wear. So these grooves start to wear out. And now, you know, the belt isn't riding on these side surfaces. It starts to bottom out. Now you have no place for water, debris, dirt, rocks, and stuff to go, so you can start hydroplaning, slipping, building heat, and you can start affecting all the other components. So you want to measure that. You want to measure your groove depths, and you want to read your belt. Read it across to see if you've got uneven wear. You may have you know, alignment problem. Now here's a cool Gates tool. Mm -hmm. This is a laser alignment tool. Because Brian's got it, I'm going to put my you know, your goggles safety on goggles on. He might shoot my eye out. Yeah. But See, what you'll do is you'll line up you know, one pulley across the next and you can go around the system and see if you've got something out of whack. So read your belt properly, make sure your system is good, and then you can just forget about it. Enjoy your ride and go have a good time.